hello guys, it is DFS Pace here, back to the Persona 5 Royal video. So, uh, yeah, there should have been a spoil message that appeared before this, but I'll say it again in case I forget to edit it in. So this video contains spoilers, uh, if you guys do not want to see spoilers for Persona 5 Royal, or for Persona 5 in general, then you should click off this video. If you're purposely watching a playthrough of this game, or you don't care about spoilers, then continue on as you are. Anyway, so we're going to try to. I don't think you're gonna increase today, but we're gonna just hang out with you. Uh, try numerous times, but the Empress card keeps appearing. Last time, I felt like you were having trouble with women, but I said something different now. Anyway, please be careful. Empress is Makoto. Uh, every time you're trying to read me, you're getting Makoto's card. Curious, curious. Does that mean I should hang out with Makoto soon? Makoto soon? Well, yeah, I didn't think my bond would increase. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna increase next time. If you don't get the option to give a gift, then it will increase. Will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. I'll do my best. Uh, I'll fight them off. <laughs> Don't do anything that'll make you stand out, moron. Just act with your brains, okay? I never said if I would fight hey, them physically. Can we go already? Are you sure you'll be all right? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Uh, right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. <laughs> have fun, but be careful, you two. Hi, hi, boss. We shall do our best. Oh man, it's packed. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Got a better opinion of me now? Huh? Uh. What? Cat got your tongue? Come on. Uh, are we missing mm -hmm. one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a nightmare Please waiting to happen. Oh, <sighs> <sighs> it's okay for that. Oh. here are you okay Futaba I'm fine you guys are here yeah it's almost lunchtime no the squid's staring at me it's cooked so don't worry would you even eat squid if I'm not around why don't we eat lunch too I'll go get some stuff for us then you're eating that even here my staple food. Okay, my mic sometimes not picking me up. Familiar flavor, yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um. Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're really? worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. Yeah. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. 
Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. <laughs> Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But... Lady On... Can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry! We'll go now! Morgana's like, you insult me. We'll switch when we're done! Keep an eye on our stuff for us! Sure, sure. Banana. What ifs? <laughs> now get how amazing we are. We risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality too? You're full of yourself. No, we're special. Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. An and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey. How do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, we gotta steal... you know what? On made fun of us and all? Let's show her what we're really made of. I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as phantom thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well, let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. Hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind! Uh, you kind of can't talk to people. Oh, yep. Luigi, you upset someone. Wait, isn't that right by our stuff? Good job. <sighs> I don't know. The ocean just looks kind of bland to me. Just give up. Come on, it ain't over yet. I'm going for a miracle comeback. Yeah, miracle. Hmm. Did someone follow us here? Something tells me we're being watched. Really? Oh. You think one of those girls changed her mind? No. OMG, it's the golden boy himself. <gasps> and he's already got his own little entourage. <laughs> we really did teach him right, didn't we? Oh, it's them. From you? Yeah. Oh no. What are you guys doing here? Oh, sometimes we just gotta get out of the city, forget the nightlife, breathe fresh air, enjoy some eye candy. We thought we lost our protege. Who would have guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate? Oh, what's with the look? <laughs> Don't believe in fate? Or did you really not have fun last time? You gonna tell us you saw yourself in all that chiffon and felt nothing? Uh, I don't think I, I felt what you guys were hoping. Oh, honey, I get it. Everyone's nervous when they first start out. But trust me, you'll make their jaws drop. <laughs> Just an hour at the vanity, three hours at the boutique, and we can just pick up where we left off last time. So, are you ready to steal some hearts? Uh, we gotta go, sorry! Was it something I said? Oh, what a tragedy. Another starlet slips through our fingers. He slipped twice, hasn't he? <sighs> no, no more makeovers. <sighs> we lost Yusuke at some point. By the way, where's Yusuke? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. 
Stop spending your money uh, on stuff. What are you doing with those lobsters? While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Again. Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time on entered my gaze. Good for you. We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. How about you come for a nice cruise on our boat? There's going to be a party, too. Tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming along. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Huh, so we were serious about being here with friends. Yes. What we've been saying from the start. Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them? There are also kids. Far more interesting than anything involving you two. What was that? Hey, let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. Where's Futaba? What creeps? Thanks for coming in like that. You guys Those are in guys charge. Just wouldn't stop pestering us. You guys are in charge of Futaba. Did well to hold them off. But where's Futaba? <laughs> to be honest, I was nearly at my wit's end. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Whoa, oh. are those lobsters? One in each hand. I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? Enough of your vile postulations. These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. We did tons of stuff today. All in all, I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. Huge big buff fan. Volleyball. Boys vs. Gods. Oh yeah, it's finally like even. We should probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd too. So it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey Futaba, we're going home. Stop standing around and help us. You okay? You know, all this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. It'd be a repeat of that. Uh, I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves. That they steal hearts. But I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, the bug. So why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. 
You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You are our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves... I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure. But right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's code name? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case, Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Stupid. Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. Ha <laughs> ha! In your face! Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's codename? I'll curse you. Okay. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Over here? Yeah. Oracle. With oh. my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great! Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored Phantom Thieves would be so close. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a Metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate. You act like we've been Should looking we for her. Should we get going then? Yep, let's go home. Yes. 
The incident with Medjet seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash, whether they're connected to us or not. Hey. I had to go with Futaba. Hey, you've been keeping her company for the past few days. Thanks. A criminal uses the metaverse to carry out their crimes. There is no lo longer. This is no longer a matter we can ignore, especially because they might be the one who killed Futaba's mom. To be honest, I considered the idea that they might be behind only. Considered the idea that they might be behind only the room with psychotic breakdowns. Now it appears as though this person is killing people as well. Technically, they're making people have mental shutdowns which then caused them to die. That's what happens when you kill someone's shadow, yeah? Mm-hmm. We were worried about it back with Kamashita and Matarame, remember? Psychotic breakdowns and mental shutdowns. It would make sense if the same person was behind them. The news never talks about the victims dying, so people only know about the breakdowns. So, this crap seriously a case. If that's for real, whoever's doing it, is some kind of assassin. I'm gonna beat the crap out of them. I would suggest we be more cautious going forward as well. We still don't know much even about our even about our metaverse staff. That is true. Wonder why that thing exists. Uh the man in my dream <laughs> dream? You still have a sleep too? Wonder if that criminal is using the app too. Futaba, this seems like your area of expertise. Do you know anything about it? No, I never even heard of it before. I mean, it's not really even an app. It's more like a mysterious app-like thing. Let's see. It's okay, though. I might not know much about the app, but I can still navigate you guys on the path to victory. I'll guide you to whatever criminal you're looking for. Mehehaha, <laughs> you can rely on me. Awesome, dude. You're way more reliable than Mona. Damn it, Ryuji. You always find the worst possible things to say. Okay. Who is this? Mishima? You live in Yogan, right? You know about the old movie theater there? Uh, the old couple that runs it apparently... Getting threatened by land speculators. Trying to say the theater is in the way of some building they want to put up. You can't just let them force these people out, right? Uh... Land speculators? I know, they're scary, but we can't just ignore them, can we? The old couple are so afraid of the threats that they don't even want to open their theater. Anyway, our target is a guy named... Okay. Mm. There might have been a change of momentum because... <laughs> okay. Might have been a change of momentum because all the stuff with Medjad. If you want to go now would be the right time. Let's discuss with everyone at the hideout. Uh, I know we just finished talking about it, but here's a photo I took today. Bra, I'm in there too. You look like you're having fun, Futaba. Oh, it's a pretty good camera one. Is this what it feels like to feel photogenic? You're not used to looking good in pictures. It certainly is a fine shot. I get you. Indeed, this picture has even captured all the ar architecture grandeur of my sand castle. Oh, you just see you scan the background with a freaking knife saver thing around him. Um, I'll take your word for it, man. Can I rank you up? Seems concerned about Futaba's uncle. It's okay for me to stick my nose. Um, need angelic kindness. Oh boy. Hey, what are you at? I know you're close ish. Rank six. Okay. On your G. Um.
Yeah, let's... Your next one. Okay. We really haven't hung out with you, so... To get better, Shogi, you must practice every day. Should I listen, please come to the church. I was talking to someone, she seems kind of troubled. Yeah, we can talk. Thank you for shaking my hand. I'm never gonna wash it. Huh? Huh? Um, please wash it. I can't believe that you were the here in a church. I read on the internet that you prayed to God for victory. Is that true? No? Can I take a selfie with you and post it online? Sorry, I've been turning down all such requests. By the way, is it true that you're trying to become a professional shogi player? Well, nothing's been always chewing for you to qualify. You'd be the first woman to surpass the Thor Den lead. League. I really believe in you. Thank you very much. Good evening. Oh, good evening. And like that approach me all the time. At first I thought you were one of them. I really must apologize for being rude to you. Um, it bothers me when people make such a big fuss over me, considering that the priest is doing me a great favor by letting me play here. You see, he's my shogi friend, and he's very kind. He once, he once told me that he wants me. Oh, he once told me that he wanted to become a professional, a professional player, and he doesn't laugh at my embarrassing habit when we play together. Oh, so I did the photo shoot. I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. Did you see it? It was called The Venus of Shogi. Quite the headline. It certainly is. Uh, it's not really an excuse, but the editorial staff came up with that title on their own. Ever since I won the Female Shogi League, I've been getting a lot of attention. Just figured I could contribute to the Shogi ward world. Besides, my mother seems to be very happy. Whenever I went, she rejoices as if it were her own victory. <sighs> so I want to live up to the expectations she has for me. Ever she's been a bit overzealous lately, she set up the interview and the photo shoot. It's as if she wants me she wants to be the manager of a celebrity. She declined. I I can't. Sorry. Oh sorry, I should be teaching you how to play instead of talking about my mother. Today I'll be showing you something very practical. It's a tactic for using the reserved pawns you've taken from your opponent in a more effective way. Nevertheless, I apologize. You're such a good listener. I feel at ease speaking actually, with you. Actually, aside from the priest, you're actually the first person I've spoken to about my mother. Okay. Follow up by backup member of Joker Jones Enemy. All right. Now then, I will instruct you while we play. To it. Are you ready? I need to up Until my kindness. Time. Well, then I look forward to our next match. Uh, this is Hufumi. I appreciate you spending time with me today. Um, I ended up feeling much better after sharing my concerns with you. But this hardly seems fair. How can I teach you properly when I'm this distressed? Uh, this is part of her tool too. Hmm? Is it? I'm not quite sure I understand. But if that is the case, I can only hope to repay you through my lessons. You make for a refreshing opponent. Somehow, the more we exchange, the more I feel my ward, world expanding. Teaching you is also a great learning experience for me, as it leads to a deeper understanding of myself. Well then, if you excuse me, I'll see you for our next match. Nice -o. Hey, uh, I know 
this is out of the blue, but, uh, like, could we all meet up at LeBlanc tomorrow? Why so sudden? I mean, August is almost over already. That worried tone. Could he still have summer vacation homework left to do? Totally. Was that Morgana? Whoa, how did he know? I actually called it. Anyway, I I've already hit up Makoto and the others. I'll be counting on you to get me through this tomorrow. You gotta be kidding. Might as well get some sleep while we can. One more time. What's this? Out dream. Scary. That black thing was me? That can't be true. I'm supposed to be human. I should be. If we get rid of the distortion in the depths of Mementos, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll all be fine. Sorry, did I wake you up? A dream? Oh, um... My sunburns were hurting, and that woke me up. I was absorbing all the sunlight because I'm black. Don't you get it? Cats get sunburns? You're thinking that my entire body's covered in fur, aren't you? I've got none on my pads. By the way, it's not like I'm bothered by this or anything, but hypothetically speaking, okay? What would you do if I turned out to be some weird... thing? You're already weird, is that a question? It wouldn't bother me. I'd be bothered by it! Well then that's your problem. If what I saw from earlier is true, is it okay for me to stay with the Phantom Thieves? And even if I'm with the team, I'm useless at the moment. It's nothing. Well, I've gotten pretty used to my life as a cat, too. And to be frank, this storage room isn't bad either. Then again, I can't wait to turn back to being a human so I can move out. Maybe I'll live a life of luxury in a suite on the highest floor. I have no mm. money. But rather than becoming some weird thing, maybe staying as a cat isn't so bad either. You and me made a deal, yeah? That means I can stay here. Isn't that right? Thought so. Don't forget what you just said, okay? I'm already rank seven. Oh. All right. Come on. Let's hurry up and get to sleep. Night. He's letting Ryuji. What Ryuji It'll says fine, gets to him. Right? We're gone on you letting what Ryuji says get to you a little too much. Oh, I'm done. As for me, I'm done for. Talk about a cliched way to end your summer vacation. I can't believe you hadn't even touched your homework until last night. Well, well, so we're gone in there. Spend their time as they choose. I guess some people just can't help themselves. I'm sorry. Come on, I think he's learned his lesson. More importantly, why don't you folks take a break? Boss, oh, you're a lifesaver. No, Ryuji. I'm gonna go pick up some groceries. Mind the shop for a bit. The sports club has aggressively applied kinesthesiology to the team's practices. By incorporating their lab's findings on human efficiency into the training regimen, they have developed a... Oh, that reminds me. Isn't there a female athlete from our own school who's made the news? An athlete? Oh, do you mean the one in gymnastics? Yeah, her! The one everyone's saying is super cute. Oh yeah, Yoshizawa, right? Wasn't she gonna be in the summer meet? Or is that already over? Ah, uh, about that... Makoto? Well, I just happened to overhear a couple teachers discussing it when I was heading to school the other day. Yoshizawa-san's results in the meet... They weren't exactly stellar. I see. There seem to have been a great many people expecting her success there. It's gotta be tough for her. Yeah. 
Ain't there one more meet left this year in gymnastics, though? Shit must be rough right now. But if she can nail that one, who cares what anybody at school says? Oh, that also reminds me. So, I just so happened to bump into Mishima-kun before summer vacation started. And? He seemed really mad. I asked him what was wrong, and he showed me some posts on an underground site about our school. It pretty much said the school's planning to abandon any honor student who isn't actively making Shujin look better. Whoa, wait a sec. There was no name, and it sounded like just another rumor at first. But could this be about Yoshizawa-san? Who knows? Still, ever since the case with Kamoshida, the school's been frantically trying to improve its public image, right? Dropping At the students, very though. least, this abandonment of honor students would fall in line with the school's real mission. I can't deny the possibility that they would do this to Yoshizawa-san. They dump all their hopes onto their athletes, and if they don't cut the mustard, they're out like the rest of the trash, huh? Regardless of whether it's true or not, such behavior is extremely self-serving. <laughs> Just like we thought this whole time. There's still tons of shit wrong with society. Yeah, we don't know what'll happen to Yoshizawa's spot on the team, but at the very least, we can keep up our efforts to prevent the worst case scenario. What do you mean, worst case scenario? Next up, our spotlights on a topic everyone's talking about, the Phantom Thieves incidents. The Phantom Thieves shocked the world by silencing a globally notorious hacktivist group. Their popularity goes beyond our own borders, with foreign media following them closely as well. Many are heralding them as dark heroes and gentlemen thieves for a new age. Whoa, this is getting pretty crazy. So the whole world really knows about us. Oh, Lord. Just where Medjet is involved, I guess. Man, it's hot. Uh, enough already. All anyone talks about anymore is the Phantom Thieves, who they are, whether they're good or bad. It's starting to give me a headache. Okay, tell us how you really feel. So, the more famous we get, the more Mementos opens up. Yeah? Can't get that out of my head. And that's why you couldn't focus on your homework until today, right? Yeah, exactly. Sounds like an excuse to me. Still, I've been wondering about that too. wonder why it works like that. Does Magana know anything? I don't know. I don't even remember how I first learned about mementos. Uh... He doesn't remember. Let's see. And there's no way for us to find out. It will likely be clear if we continue as the Phantom Thieves. The most important thing now is the identity of their criminal using the metaverse. So that might be the person who killed my mom. I'm gonna find them, no matter what it takes. You know, we used to be lacking in quite a few areas. But now that we have Furtaba helping us, a great number of possibilities are now available. Yes, we gain a fantastic condition to our team in the most unexpected manner. Aw, oh, you're making me blush. Well, we'll be counting on you, Furtaba. This feels way better than having some dumb, dumb cat. Ryuji, shut up. <sighs> Morgana, he's just an idiot. Um. Wait, you're not gonna wake up. Oh no, all of you can wake up. Okay. Uh, you have to choose between people. I don't really care too much about Mishima. Yeah, we're gonna up Mishima. But what's his ability? Fanboy. I mean, that's a good one. And then what is uh with a king for fortune? 
and devil. Uh, you can your bond with confidential choice. That's also like a very good one. Okay, we're doing first tell. Because uh, if we can get that one, we can rank people up faster. Slightly faster. It's so hot today. Place myself in the street so I can see people walking by, but I'm about to melt. Do a vacation test. Uh, well, I'm closing up shop for today. However, could we discuss another matter? Okay. Thank you very much. Closing up shop, so please hold on. Honestly, I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the fortunes I see have, have an extremely high accuracy rate. But I suppose my divine power isn't absolute, isn't completely absolute. Do you want to test it again? Well, of course, but I'm sure that would only end in disappointment. You know, I've wondered in the past whether fate really can be changed. But I always concluded that it was something beyond our control. It was like the laws of nature. Eternal, impossible to defy. And yet, there exist people like you who can ignore those laws and impose their own will upon them. Um. How can I become one of those people? Trust in yourself. What? Trust in myself. Instead of my fortune telling? I've never thought of it that way before. This city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations. It was nobody like you back in my hometown in the country. It was a small, traditional town deep in the mountains, populated almost entirely by older people. Oh, uh, sounds so peaceful. During the winter, it's practically inaccessible due to all the snow. That alone should tell you volumes. The youth there are forced to be strictly obedient to their elders as well. Not explicitly, of course. Oh, and there's a small shrine in the center of the village. There I... It doesn't matter anymore. I left that place to come to the city. It means nothing to me now. After I arrived in Tokyo, I found comfort in this stone. It came from someone who dared to care about me, even though I'm just a monster with strange powers. That's why I sell holy stones. I want to help those who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my own. However... But now I wonder if they really do much of anything. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my clients without one. Is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than mere words, attitude, and passion? Oh. If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm going to confront fate head on with my own strength. Although the chairman would be really mad if he found out. Chairman? Oh, uh, oh don't worry about that. Just forget about it. Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Anyway, if fate can be changed, maybe even mine can be corrected. Right? It didn't work for me before, but perhaps this time. Uh, it all depends on you. Alright. <laughs> I look forward to our continued exchange. At least until I can manage to, until I can manage to change my fate. Oh, and I'll be sure to put some extra effort into my fortune telling for you. Cool, so... All right. We want to get her to rank 5. Well then. Thank you for today. Until next time. Good night. And then rank 5, if there's someone we want to rank up but we can't. We can just use her ability instead of spending time hanging out with them. I'm calling you because I wanted to thank you once again for earlier. Thank you for so thank you so much for today. To be honest, I'm still feeling a bit lost, but talking to you about everything is helping me feel a little better. Tell me more about your home. Didn't do much. Glad to hear that. I'm learning so much from you. I can't thank you enough. Thanks to you, I can finally see the truth. I can only hope my fortune telling is enough to pay you back somehow. I'll be putting in a lot of work from now on, even though I can't even imagine changing my own fate. But I will figure out some way to make it happen. I hope I can count on you to help me through the process. Until next time.
I never expected what happened to Futaba's mother would be connected to those incidents in the city. We can't leave this be. Right, I guess. But yeah. Though this scoundrel has the same power as us, they're triggering people's mental shutdowns. If they truly exist, who can stop them? Only us. This is getting interesting. You are fired up. I was just thinking that and then an innocent option. Well, We've happens. got a new addition to the team, so it's time I flex my veteran skills. Ghana seems awfully excited. Hey, we need to talk. Come downstairs. Come downstairs. What's up? What is it? Chris Hobbit's here, so. Hey, get ready. We're going out for lunch. Just the three of us. You want to go out in public with me? Uh, you want me to come? You don't have any plans, right? Just come on. It'll be my treat. Not only can Futaba go out now, but your summer break's almost over. We gotta do something. I asked especially for sushi. You better be thankful. This place is supposed to be super delicious, too. Sushi? Take me with you! I didn't get to eat the takeout sushi last time, remember? Man, that thing never stops meowing, does it? Demanding sushi. Tell him to bring me along! Wait, does it want to come with us or something? I do feel sorry for it, though. Well, I guess I don't mind bringing some sushi home. He knows me so well! Let's see. I want some medium fat tuna, fatty tuna, salmon roe, anago, and... and... Oh, are you gonna be able to remember all this? You might want to take notes. I'm not the one paying for your sushi that you're gonna get. So it's up to Shijiro what you get. So? How is it? Good? She's chucking it down. Mmm, delicious! Don't wolf it down like that. It, look, no one's gonna take your food. <laughs> no. What did I tell you? Drink some tea. <coughs> Restroom! Huh? Oh, oh restrooms. Uh, they're that way. <laughs> what a busy girl. Back in the day, she, her mother, and I used to go eat out often. This brings back memories. I had completely forgotten about it, too. That was close. I thought I was gonna die! Okay. Well, time to resume. You're still going to eat? Uh, I'm all full. I'm throwing in the towel. What? Okay. Which is it? I'm gonna use the restroom and then pay the bill. Check, please. Coming right up. When I got into middle school, my mom and Sojiro took me out to eat sushi to celebrate. That sushi was so good. Today's was pretty good, too. I hope the three of us can come again sometime. Like a family. When should we do this again? I wish she could have had today's sushi, too. Oh. <sighs> I want to find out what happened to mom. I won't forgive the guy who triggered her mental shutdown. So, you better help me out. 120,000 yen? You're <laughs> joking, right? Looks like we won't be getting sushi to go. Oh my gosh, they be so mad at me. Welcome home. I've been waiting for you. Huh? Wait, where's my sushi? Where's my fatty tuna? Where's my Inago? The sushi was so delicious. We even ate the cat shit. Oh, I don't think he's more gonna. If only Sujiro had more money. So that's why. There's actually one place I want to go more than sushi. Any idea what it is? Ramen shop? Ooh, washing down sushi our sushi with some ramen. That sounds stylish, but we can do that another time. I want to go to Akihabara. I want to buy a game, but I'm scared to do it alone. Do you think you can help? Of course. 
You're a nice guy. Okay, it's late, so let's just meet there. I know how to ride the train after that trip to the beach, so I can get there fine. Well then, I'll be waiting. Wait, we're meeting in Akihabara? Is Futaba really going to be okay? We'd better get over there. Oh, we're going now. Oh, no. Are we going now? All right. Should she be riding the train by herself? Is this where we're supposed to be meeting? Is she not here? Try checking around. Are you all by yourself? Aww. Where did you come from? Hey, over there. Did you run away from home? What's wrong, little girl? That looks bad. What are you gonna do? Yeah, hurry up! Uh, well, can you come down to the station with me for now? I uh, know. Huh? Who are you? Hey! Hi! Do you know this girl? Uh, she's family, I guess. As close as you can get. You're not lying, are you? I like how she well. nods, like, yeah, he is. <laughs> Utaba? Are you okay? Sorry. I thought I conquered my fears back at the beach. Aww. What happened? There wasn't anyone I knew with me, so I panicked. Felt like my heart was gonna pop. I did that I too. I got so scared all by myself. Then I just sort of curled up into a ball. Then all these people started staring at me. And the police came. And then it was all over. Look, Futaba. If you're ever in trouble, just call this guy. Okay. Hmm. I feel kind of calm when we're this close. You're okay being like this, right? Are you a remora? Remora? Maybe. <laughs> I couldn't even go by a game by myself. I'm a failure. Oh, and you wrote the trade by yourself? Taba. But I'm okay outside as long as it's with him. Is he some kind of key item? I'm a key item. <laughs> Please, be my key item. I'll okay. try to better at navigation if you do. Is that a deal? Yeah, a deal. Is that good with you? Should accompany Futaba when she goes out from now on. Oh, you're gonna talk to me about notification now. We were impressed with the intel gathering skills of the Phantom Thieves as well. We also know that this would have been impossible unless you had a skilled hacker. Who was doing this? You already know. I mean, I did tell you Futaba hacked Medjad, so... It's a bit weird that it's like, who was your skilled hacker? We know you saved this one person and then Medjad got hacked, but who... Who's your hacker? With the birth of the hermit persona, hermit I have obtained the winds of blessing oh. that shall lead to freedom and new power. Yes. More support. Chance to cast Kaja or party healing magic during battle. Yeah, hers. She has a few good abilities. All right. All right. Now that that's over with, let's go. Yeah. Where? Bye, game. Need bye, game. Yeah. Weren't you bawling your eyes out just a second ago? This doesn't matter. Yeah, but I have my key item now. <laughs> Victory conditions met. Come on, let's roll. Mission is successful. Welcome home. Where were you two? Akihabara. What? <laughs> That's incredible, Futaba. I, I guess. Oh. <laughs> I just hope you can keep that up. Maybe you'll even be able to go to high school someday. Yeah. Well, you don't seem... that's enough of that. Oh. I bet you're exhausted after dealing with all those people, huh? Let's get you to bed. Hey, we're gonna head back. Whoa, this proof writing is insane. It's over 60% now. It's been over 60% for a little bit. It's close to like 64. 
Aw, you're making me blush. I'm not talking about you. No, this is definitely thanks to Futaba silencing Medjet. See? How about that? It's kind of frightening how strong this momentum is. Um, I'm worried. Come on, you two. What are you saying? Everyone's got high expectations of the Phantom Thieves. Let's make sure they're answered. On top of all that, this case has shed light on something important. You mean that criminal? Well, I suppose at this point we refer to them as the one who... The one behind the mental shutdowns. That's the one who killed my mom. We can't leave them be. Let's talk more in detail about this tomorrow at school. <sighs> no sushi, and we got dragged around for Butaba. What a terrible day. I think it was perfect. Phantom things have become amazingly popular. Tons of people have started accessing the form too. Anyway, I was thinking about how I could make use of this spike in popularity, and I've decided to add a new function to the website. A new function? Are you curious? It'll send people's wishes directly to you guys. That's a pain a little bit. Well, I hope you're excited. It'll be up and running tomorrow. Okay. Can't believe I have to leave Japan now of all times. What's up? Don't you know it's almost time for the school trip? In any case, look forward to the new function. I'm sure it'll be exciting. Yeah, because now we gotta sort through those. I'll just add this. Okay, um. We're getting close to 60 hours into the game. But yeah, guys, that'll be it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure you comment and subscribe for more. Because my next video, whenever, whatever, that one, maybe, I guess.